Alright, so I bought a golf cart. And uh, I'm in my junkie shed. I got a lot of stuff I need to pick up. I got a lot of stuff out here from when I uh, remodeled a kid's bedroom. Uh, but I want to put a uh, light kit on this thing. I got to put mirrors on it, light kit. Um, got to put seat belts on it. And what else is there? Mirrors, seat belt, lights. And uh, my town allows golf carts to ride around town in, so. So I done pulled the floor plate, the rubber mat, and the brake cover and throttle cover. Uh, had plastic trim on the side. Plastic trim was held on by torque bit screws. There we go. The light kit, I got it cheap. Uh, let's get you to sit down here for a second. Uh, it's the whole kit, man. Headlights, turn signals. Gave you the templates, cut the headlights. Shows you how to run the wiring diagram, but I'm not running the wire diagram down through here. I'm running it right down the center. I don't know why you why you couldn't just run it down the center. Uh, definitely be a lot easier. Let's see where all the mother wires are at. Yeah, you got the. So I don't know why he wouldn't run it down through here. Unless these plugs won't fit. Fit. That loud noise you hear in the background is my fan going. It's kind of warm already this morning. Gotta make sure the uh, this is for a time delay. I think it's for if you leave your lights on, it shuts it shuts them off automatically. But uh, it's for the brake brake pedal switch, so your brakes turn on and off. So I will probably hopefully pull enough wire through. One of them holes. See how the wire wires coming out right over here, up over the over there. Maybe I'll just run it here because it's got to go right there. So just got to make sure we we'll have enough wires for the headlights. Check out that battery, Samsung lithium ion 48 motor instead of all them batteries in there. So, so yeah, that's cool.
Put it in there. There we go. Move that water down a little bit. I think that's perfect. <laughs> and they say, do it this way. <laughs> engineers, I tell you, engineers. We're gonna, I just wanna make sure I got enough wire for my headlights. I mean, it's not like I can't cut them and extend them, but I don't want the extra work. Well, what is that wire to go to that ain't plugged in? Look at that. Huh. Not sure what that goes to. And I don't think there's one of the wires. I hope this is hope this will work. May have to. Pulling this dash panel right here, I ain't sure how it comes off. But. So, got this dash cover pulled. I had to pull that just to get this out of the center. It's held on by Phillips screws. That was held on by 27 T27 Torx bits. Uh, I don't remember. Like these are a little bit bigger, 40s I think. That's the side covers down along the edge and up the side. The wire fits up in there, behind, tucks behind there, and it's kind of, looks like this is made to have wiring for your headlights to go right into there. Let me see if I can zoom in there. Right there, looks like little fingers that hold the wire going towards the headlight, or the driver's side and the passenger side. So I'm glad I did go this way. What I'm doing now is I'm going to remove the, this brake pedal brackets like stop bracket or whatever you want to call it and uh, install the brake pedal switch to make sure my wires are long enough which had me cutting her close and pull it back a little bit still I don't want to take too much I already pulled these long ones out of here. They're six millimeter Allen bolt, Allen heads, or I call them Allen heads because they're in my their sockets. That is a ten millimeter. Right? Yep. So, so you wanna press down on there a little bit. So yeah, pop that tin loose. Pop this one in. Two little lock washers. 
it's pretty nice though, this little, little kit. It's even got the micro switch. You can even buy the micro switch and bolt it to the original one that come off. And it's got the, just bolted. But uh, I guess you'd have to know which way it was orientated. Which, be, if you're using the factory ones, it'd be the left, right, left corner, bottom, right bottom. Right bottom corner, left top corner. So it would look like that. Lawns in there. Help get that center back up better. In there. Oh, I got my other bolts on. Let's get it. All right, that's good. Should have probably left them bolts out of there. I could have seen it being. And I ain't even doing nothing. It's hot out here. About as tight as I want it to get them. You can hear the click, hear the switch working. As soon as I put on the brake, lights come on. Sweet. It's pretty nice. Pretty simple. And you can only plug these in one way because. They got the bullet sticking out of one side and the female sticking on one side. Female on one side of the wire on the other one. Which I don't think it matters, it's just a switch. So I think just get that just to how I like to wire up my LED lights, my headlights and stuff. And uh, that way they, when you, somebody goes to put them in. You can only hook LED uh, up one way, so it has to be positive, positive, be running bullets like that. Be all good. All right, well, I'm gonna move back over here. I'm gonna finish running these wires down through here. tape around them brake lever brake wires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I think it's going to work out pretty good. I like it. And it's gave me more more wire. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie that down out of my way. I'm going to zip tie it just loose enough so I can still got where I can still pull it back and forth though. I'll probably put another zip tie back here. A little bit more zip tie down in there. Yeah, she's sitting down there. Uh, so, now that we're doing this like this, let's see if I can't get you guys adjusted here. Um, so <coughs> what I need to what I want to do this will probably stay behind the dash so that's passing the headlight my headlight switch I wanted to go over there on that side, but I guess it's going to go right here in this cover. Uh, I think next I'm going to get the turn signal switch on on the, on the, uh, on the steering column here. That way I know if I can, if my wire is going to run down and reach, if I can get it back behind here and into here to plug into my, plug into this harness here, but I want to run it down. Hopefully, hopefully I can get it to fit up there behind some of this stuff. If not, I'll probably just, I don't know, I ain't real sure what I'm going to do there. But that's where I'm going next. I, want to, I just want to make sure, see if, See what we got going on if it's gonna see if she's gonna fit in there or not. I tell you what, this thing's actually pretty nice. It's pretty heavy. Heavy duty unit. Ooh. So. Man, I don't have the hole to go in there. I got everything painted black. This hose clamp's black. They'll tie it.
put some rubber around the hose clamp too that that will help to keep it tight or keep it from scratching or what but nice of them okay i got it so tight enough where it stays loose enough for me to move her around Yeah, you got a, I got you a cover, so, which is nice. There we go. Hey, hell, I think I got that just about right where I want her. So, the left connection there, this is your relay. See the connection probably has been this bad boy. Yeah, see, huh? I'm telling you, man, it's a little work to get her in there. I think baby tape might be here, so I'm gonna go check see who she is. All right, well, one, let's jump out here a little bit. I went ahead and, on camera though, I just went ahead and ran that wire. And I ran it. Same place I ran my others. So, she basically runs right up underneath there. Yeah, it's a little, little short almost, but I think she'll be fine because that rubber mat will cover that. Not off the little black tape around her, but I mean, it's not the wiring uh, of my main wiring harness's problem. But, uh, yeah, so they come right into there, right up there. It's tight right there's my plug, so I had to pull it. The excess I had, plug it in, then kind of let it pull back down. So, yeah, she's. She's pretty good right there. And then my headlight switch is gonna be right. Right by my key switch. That's where I'll stick it, but. Uh, I think all I got left is uh, the time delay. Get these. Maybe the horn. Yep, that's the horn. That's the driver's side headlight. So let's go right on. Should have. Yeah, should have. Would have. Could have. Man, 
of that. That turned out real nice. Had that wiring harness one in there real easy. That was easier than the painless wiring for Chevy, that's for sure. So then all I gotta do is uh see how to hook up that time time delay. Ugh. Sorry, I ain't sure if you got to to see that or not. Yeah, all that wiring went down right up through there pretty easy. sticking up right through here little fingers and the wires just hooked right in there headlight went around over there into them fingers and then just straight down to the where the headlights would be and then the time delay it's got a blue black and a white see here's a picture of that brake light how it hooks up pretty cool Let's see about this time delay See the instructions for this come out pretty good. I didn't even look at that, but there's your move that front dash cover. You see it tells you to put it in where the keys at. There's the well the USB, my bad, the keys. The keys on the other thing, so it's gonna be next to my UBS. This UBS port uh, panel in the middle. That's if you run it, obviously run it along that left side over there. But since I'm running it this way, that won't reach. I mean, I could extend wires, but I'm not extending the wires. So. I'm looking for a thing. Wish I'd have bought the uh, turn that time timer delay off but install that timer delay
it right down here. Says one, three, two plus. And I'm not sure. I would assume black is grant negative. And so on the back of that headlight switch is red and blue, so I'm gonna say blue's a positive on this thing. Just gonna wipe off a little spot right there in the back of that. If it's wrong, she wrong. She just plugged in right there. Let's make sure all my wiring and stuff, everything's gonna clear. Yeah, bingo, bango. Perfect. So far, so good, man. They ain't really too bad. So, let's figure out how, how to hook up a, my horn. My horn wire goes all the way down underneath there. I'll have to kind of crawl underneath there. I, I'll probably have to extend some wires for that. That's, that kind of sucks. They sent me two horns, and all I got on this harness is only one, one, uh, one connector for a horn. So I could put one horn on there, or use two horns and run, you know, jumper wires. So, we'll see where she, where I end up putting her. Uh, I'm gonna take a little small break. I gotta go find some scissors and cut out the templates. When I cut the template out for the left headlight, that's probably when I'll install the horn. That'll give me room, hopefully. And I gotta look for some uh, tape and all that still. I, I, I paused it where I put it, so. So far, so good. Pretty easy. All right, so when I went in to get the scissors and all that, I come back out, I went to tape this, and I felt it was loose. I said, man, well, when you when you remove that dash, it bolts to this, obviously pinches it, and then you have this clip, and then when you remove the side covers on the bottom, there's the bolt that holds that on. So this thing was loose, and I'm over here fight through that little hole right there to get this wiring all in there well I got her in there so pretty cool pretty cool kind of makes me mad that I fought it like that but oh well what do you do and get the horn hooked up probably pretty easy and so on these when I was researching on what headlight, tail light kit with turn signals to get, brake lights to make it code for my city, I seen that they said if you pull this cover, that there's a place that's already marked on the back for the headlights. And there it is. So it's wise just to go ahead and pull the cover. And there's the other one. Of course, it's, the rears ain't going to be that easy. But, uh, I'll get you a template out of here. So that cover was sitting there just loose because I took, them, took that dash panel out of there. See, there's your template for your... This one's for the passenger side and then you flip it over after you cut it out. Yeah, it lines right up with that. So, got a headlight template. Some people may just want only headlights, so I don't want the other. I don't have to. That's for the taillights. That's probably for. You start on the right side and flip it over. Let's do the left side. 
which you want to cut across around this line. And you want to line that up to go on the back. If I get there, we'll, we'll show you. I ain't real sure how I'm going to cut these out. Because I don't have... Um, I don't really have a roto zip or anything like that. So nothing fancy. What I'm thinking about doing is taking a drill bit and putting it inside a... a um, die grinder, real bit inside the drop die grinder. It, it'll be loud, so I don't think I will be uh, recording yet. That the what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off where the headlights going to go, so hopefully reduce the chances of shipping. Figure out what I'm gonna do to cut these off. I'll turn y'all back on. Set you off there for a second. I'm gonna try to this rubber right here. I don't like how it's fitting. There we go. Let's get squeeze it down up the own back up in there. See so yeah man, it actually turned out pretty nice. Not nice than what I thought I was gonna do when I was cutting. I was scared. I, I overdid one real big. Kind of got away from me. Uh, I'm like, man, that ain't good. Yeah. And headlights cover quite a bit. And it fits nice. This is pretty good quality headlight. I would pay maybe like 175 delivered maybe. So I can't. Kind of, kind of scratch my paint up a little bit on the box and stuff. Moving it around to, to uh, drill that stuff out, get a different angle. So may want to put down some a towel or something a little smoother than what I have. But it's a used golf cart. There's all kinds of blemishes on it. It was used on a golf course. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to figure out how to mount my horn somewhere where oh where can my horn go they sent me two horns so I'm uh baiting e baiting
Horn tightened up. I'm gonna run it. I gotta go in and get go to the other garage and get some self tappers. All right, so there's where my horn's at. Right down up in there. There's, there we go. Get a better light. The wires right up in there. Right there. She is front is done. I'm just gonna put all the covers back on. Plug the headlights on. Again, and uh, yeah, she's a front end's done. I honestly managed to take a lot less time than what I thought. So, plug in one way because their um, terminals are just uh, got little square shoulders on it squared instead of just all the way around like the rest of them perfect oh back on so yeah I don't like how that's not that close but what do you do so Front end's done, man. My headlights are in. The front end is done, except for the uh, headlight switch has got to be put in. Hey, I may just uh, Off the, uh, See, there's a nut here that you can go and uh, so when you put that in it only stick out so far you know you stick this on there tighten it so you want enough room for this can be basically flush right here when you tighten it 
and uh, it looks a lot better, neater. So what I gotta do is find a drill bit, and that, that fit inside there real close. So get back with you in a second. Found one. I, I want to say three eighths will work, work closer. That seven sixteenths is. I I think it seven is probably the best. I'm just eyeballing what I think is good and center. She is. I'll plug it so I could spin it. It's just a switch, so I don't think it what matters which way the wires plug into the back. Oh. Front's done. The wires in the back. Some uh, wires. It's pretty simple. Those are zip tie in place. I ain't gonna fight that because I got all that room back there. Uh, sucky part's gonna be cutting for the for tail lights. So, I'm bringing back in a little bit when I get started on that. Uh, I got the template on. Cut it out. Line it up to the top of that. Down along that, may have that too low. I right, put it on that side and marked it. Yeah, no, I see it cut, cuts right there. So, tail lights are pretty, pretty forgiving. Oh God. big that lip is around that thing. I ain't sure if this is the right or the left. It must go over here. Yeah, see. A real forgiving. So rears ain't gonna be too bad. I'm gonna get them cut out. I'm gonna get them in. Probably pull this panel right here, do uh 
get my wiring how I want it. Give me where I can uh, run my wiring better. Uh, I gotta pull that thing off there. It's a ball wash and a club clean. Wash, wash your balls. But, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, show you the, when I get it cut out. And they, they kind of made the pattern hole a little big too, so give you a little bit of adjustment on how to line up like the edge, get the contour of the thing. But I tell you what, the molding, the black molding on here, contour, it fits good, man. I mean, it's snug. It's, it's like they was meant to be. Like they was made to go on there. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to undo that thing, but Easy enough. There's a wire objection. Cubby hole. Good time. Hey, see them plugs are square cut on that side? So you can only go in one way. Boom. 
eat. Perfect. So all I gotta do is run some zip ties, put some screws in them. Right, put some zip ties, zip tie all my wiring down. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'll be ready to hook up the power. And uh, give her all test. And I'm gonna start buttoning everything together, zip tying everything, and uh, bring it back when we go to test it all. Make sure everything's working. I should probably check it before I put everything back. Maybe I'll do that. I'll test it before I actually mount everything in case one of the headlight terminal ain't plugged in all the way or something. Oh no, it's the real. Alright, well, bring it all back when I get it done. I get power hooked up and we'll test the lights together. Alright, we got it hooked up. Simple. Red to the positive, black to the ground. How's that easy? You know, when you, before you do everything, you're supposed to put it in tow. So let's turn this on. I ain't sure if I gotta have the key switch on or not, but. That ain't working. But you gotta have that key switch on or plugged in. Uh, let me uh, set you down here a second. Uh, I may have to go find the keys because I ain't sure where I hit them from the kid at. Alan be wanting to ride this all the time and she be trying to ride it when I ain't home. Uh oh. Yeah, let me go uh, find the keys for it. Must have to probably have the keys on, so I'll find the keys and we'll be back. Well, I uh, tested the battery. Uh, being a smart battery, I believe the keys got to be on for the power to come on to the battery. Because I'm not getting my 48 volts is zero, and I know it's not a junk battery or dead because I only wrote it a little bit before I put it in here so I was in there kind of looking at the video uh, editing I wouldn't call it and I was kind of adding them all together and uh, no this is about an hour long video so I will find the keys tonight later today and we'll uh Make a part two tomorrow, hopefully, if I find the keys. Uh, if not, it'll be another day or two. So hopefully I find them. I hit them for my kid, and I hit them so good I can't even find them. So, oh. so yeah, I uh, hit them for myself so good I can't even find them. So uh, and my keys for my Suburban, but. Thought I might have hung them on the wall in here somewhere, and I, I, I can't find them. So it'll be a part two tomorrow. Uh, plus, it's time to eat. I'm hungry. We'll see you on the next one.